Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course under Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm welcome from me. If you remember, in the previous session we defined crontab, we activated a function in the myjobsetting.py for every five minutes and in the main cron job of our website we added it that's up to now now we are going to set an action in our function so that it does it every five minutes a certain action that is performed every five minutes to test and try our cron tab there are some points that need to be mentioned we cannot use the print command here the print that we use here to test and see how it works cannot be used in the cron tab and cron tab does not do any printing and if it runs into an error it skips it and doesn't cause any interference because it is running on the background of our website if it runs into any error it is going to skip it here in the blacklist uh, we have a date field that you see on this page an IP field here I want to add a record to this app every five minutes so that we will be able to see it here all right in order to have access to that app the first thing I need to do is to say from yeah from blacklist dot models okay that's it import well blacklist all right I imported my app if I check the model for the blacklist as you see it has a default so I don't need to give a date to it here we can have the date by default so all the functions uh, all the functions that we have uh, work all right here we can import them for date etc here we just need an IP right here in the my job let's see we say B equals blacklist IP equals one two three four five six okay and then B dot save that's it all right now I the cron tab I have set an action a short code that is going to add a record to the blacklist every five minutes all right now we go over here and we enter the add command we have two other commands I can say uh, python manage dot pi all right cron tab space show and uh, the active cron tabs are being shown to me or I can remove it I say python manage dot pi cron tab remove okay and as you see my cron job has been removed uh, but we are going to use it it was for when you had written a cron tab and wanted to remove it you can remove it from the main cron job on django now we want to run it so again i add it cron job add and if i hit show i will see it name cron and my job and you need to know uh, as well that you can add or remove the main cron job and see that it has been removed or see it on your site all right now five minutes needs to pass until a record is added to the blacklist here by the function we need to wait for the five minutes to pass by which is rather a long time for our tutorials and we don't have to do it so we just stop we can have other time settings we set it on 5 for instance but we can change it to 24 hours a day a year every six months and it can be done the way you want it to be done uh, okay 
let's see. Well, if you want to use different timings, of course, you can search the internet and there you can find the timing charts on the website and there are some specifically designed timing charts that contain the necessary codes that you can use for different timings on CronTap. Okay, after five minutes we refresh the page. As you see, two records have been added. One of them is the initial record that is uh, entered when we set up a cron tab and we add cron job cron job runs once then five minutes later it will run again and five minutes later again and this action will be done eternally i pause the video to save time now in order to make sure that my cron job works well i don't pause the video and just keep moving on with our project i keep the video running and after five minutes we will test it again we will test this page to see if any new record has been added i refresh to make sure no no new record is being added uh, so now what we need to do is to just wait which is not a difficult thing to do but of course uh, there are some points that need to be mentioned again in order for you not to forget them these points are very important concerning the cron uh, sorry cron tab or cron job and uh, it's different usages okay uh, this section is very useful uh, for the shopping websites, uh, but how? In shopping size, uh, you may have a list of products, for example, uh, that you can choose from with different numbers. The user who wants to shop and choose a certain number of items and then the bill is uh, being given to him at the end of his selection. And he will go then he will go to the payment gate when he is at the payment gate he can we can suspend the bill and the items that he buys can be deducted from the overall products for instance if he had 10 items of a certain product and two of them were bought by a user these two will be deducted from the overall number and now we will have eight of those items but the problem that may occur is that the, the former user may not finalize the payment as is the case whether intentionally or unintentionally or his time may be over for finalizing the shopping uh, to cut items whose payment has not been finalized can uh, can be a little bit problematic and uh, we can just cut them so we define cron tab so that the item whose payment has not been finalized will be returned to the shopping list and then they will be back on the list available to be chosen by new or the former customers again we can do this every 15 or 30 minutes so that the cron job checks and sees if every 15 minutes the payments had not been finalized the remaining bills will be cancelled and the items will return to the shopping list available for new customers this is one of the more useful uh, usages we can even set the cron tab on five minutes that is every five minutes the shopping list will be checked and by setting the timer using a very simple algorithm uh, we can calculate the expand time and then every five minutes using the same algorithm the timing algorithm that we mentioned we get the elapsed time if it was for instance more than 
15 minutes or 5 minutes, uh, then that bill will be cancelled and its items or uh, the, the items shopped by the customer will be added to the site's products. Now our 5 minutes has elapsed, I refresh the page, as you see the new value or record has been added, so the system is working properly, and as you see every 5 minutes it saves a record for me, in order to uh, stop it, what should I do? I need to go to the cron tab, okay, and remove it, or I can remove the function from the site altogether by erasing the code but as a test we can remove it until we need to have it on the main server okay and use it constantly all right that's it